Hi, my name is Michael Trout. I'm going to do a response talk. And the question is, is when to raise money for a startup? Now, before I rail on this poor VC, you got to you got to understand the problem is everyone has a different definition of a startup. And here's a great example of it. So you can actually uh, listen to his talk and he basically says that um, you know, you have to basically wait for the time when the money is available, right? That you, you don't go after money. So basically, uh, if you get your revenue up, then you can go after funding. And he's referring to actually private placement, VC funding, and everything else. But the problem is, if you are just a you know a, uh, an early uh, pre-seed startup, what happens is you think he's talking about you, and then all of a sudden you're like lost, right? So um, if you um, you know the second thing he says is um, Basically, you wait until you, you have growth. Well, in order to grow, you need money, right? And the third thing he says, well, is your timing and is your product right? And again, you need money for that. So basically, uh, you know, Will is, is referring to a startup that is actually in the, I would say, the seed or post. And he's talking about the pre-private placement startup. Whereas most of us are in the pre-seed startup where we need funding in order to get our pr prototype up, in order to secure our IP, in order to secure, um, you know, um, uh, you know, other investors. Because, like, I just did a pitch, right, just to, just today calling the Found Up ra uh, Rabbit Hole, where basically if you're an ordinary person like me, 99% of the people, basically you don't have a ton of cash. You don't have savings to throw into this, this idea. So you kind of need money up front. Well, your credit's not that good because of the, current crisis you can't get a loan so you're stuck with trying to build well I tell you that where and why you know you should really be looking at found ups because see I spent 15 years working on an idea and the idea actually stems from something I did in um, you know in 1990 called the Southern Shakespeare Festival now understand I was a college student I had clueless and one of the beautiful things is when you when you're you're clueless and you do something you're not intimidated whereas if you have too much information like if someone said to me hey I want you to produce a Shakespeare Festival I say, you can't afford me I know what I need to do so most of these people are like oh I know what kind of like the, I know the, the 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 road so it's overwhelming to them so sometimes being naive and not knowing is what's what's the best thing so Basically, what, what you need to look at is what we're offering, and we're offering, basically, we teach you basically how to fish. So the Found Up Alphas, we're taking 100 Alphas in order to their private placement next year. Now, I don't know how many of you are going to succeed. I'm going to succeed. I'm going to go to my private placement next year. Why is next December so important? Well, it's because it's the end of the Mayan calendar. And I want to be able to say my company officially launched as a startup in December of 2012. It is a, 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 it is a, it is a date that for the last 14 to 18,000 years, people have been talking about, all right, um, Maybe there was a gap where they didn't, but obviously the mines and everything else and what was discovered. And it's a very, I mean, there's a lot of, uh, you know, dates. So if you're going to have a, a startup that's going to launch, and see, I'm doing the Alpha 100 because every found up that I launch with me is going to increase the valuation of my, what, of my found up. So it's selfish. It's like say, hey, I'm going to take you through this plan. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to share with you. However, you've got to agree to, uh, you know, basically, you know, uh, that you're under an NDA and everything else, that everything we do is, is, is secret, secret, secret. Um, if you can improve it, great, but I get to, you, you know, you surrender all rights to it. So, it, you know, and if you have no idea what a startup is, give me a call, and I'll tell you what a startup is. Um, we are open to anyone uh, to participate. Uh, I don't care how old you are. I don't care how bad your idea is. I tell you what, I'll help it. I'll make it, right? Because ultimately, the two important questions is what pain and what's, what's your outcome? The solution is going to change. Let me tell you, the solution, don't worry about the solution. What's the pain? What's your desiring outcome? You know, what's the outcome you're desiring? If you can work on those two things, you can do a found up.